Good morning. Plenty of weather to talk about over the next few days. Keep watching the weather forecast if you've got outdoor plans. I suspect through today we could see some heavy spells of rain. All due to this area of low pressure moving into the extreme southeast. That's where the heaviest of the rain will be. At the same time, close to that low pressure in the northwest, plenty of sharp showers as well. So, yes, there'll be a risk of some heavy rain today. That means a good watering for the gardens. That will probably come as welcome news. The heaviest of the rain always likely into that extreme southeast corner, running up through East Anglia and into parts of Lincolnshire by the middle of the afternoon. Sharp showers out towards the west, some of these heavy and possibly thundery as well. So, for Western Scotland, there'll be a real cluster of showers here by the middle of the afternoon. Slightly drier, brighter conditions, sheltered eastern areas. A few showers into Northern Ireland, the heaviest, most widespread showers likely into the northwest of England by the afternoon and here with the odd rumble of thunder stretching down into the Midlands to the north of London and East Anglia. If you manage to escape the showers and stay largely fine and warm, temperatures should peak at around 23 degrees, not as high as the last couple of days nevertheless pleasant enough. But it does mean for the fourth test at Old Trafford, sharp showers are likely into the afternoon, maybe even merging together for longer spells of rain by the end of the day. Now, the start of the weekend looks quite promising, actually, with a ridge of high pressure building and things quietening down. So a good deal of fine, dry weather. Still plenty of showers out towards the west, but highest value is likely of 24 degrees. That's 75 Fahrenheit. I'm sure you've heard about what's happening in the Atlantic, though. The remnants of Bertha continuing to move across the cooler waters of the Atlantic, which means that it's losing some of its energy. But nevertheless, it could still be a rather nasty area of low pressure it continues to track in from the Atlantic by Saturday, it looks likely to be down into the southwest. The current track looks likely to take it towards the southern part of the UK through the Channel. And there is going to be some pretty intense rainfall with it and also the potential for some strong winds. Now, at the moment, this is, looks likely to be the scenario the track of that storm will take. If it moves a little further south, we lose the intense winds, but we still get the heavy rain. If it moves further north, then again, we could see some wet and windy weather. So that's for Sunday. By the time we say goodbye to Sunday and into Monday, there is the potential for that to track to continue to push up through the North Sea, bringing some extremely wet and windy weather up to the Northern Isles and plenty of showers following on behind. Keep watching the weather forecast. Take care.